Hi, I'm Bob Keeshan, and welcome to CBS Story Break. Have you ever wanted something so much you'd do just about anything to get it? Well, that's how bad Billy Forrester wants a shiny new dirt bike. To get it, he makes a bet with his friends, and what a bet, eating a worm a day for 15 days. Will Billy Forrester survive? Based on Thomas Rockwell's book, let's watch and see how to eat fried worms. I'm gonna catch me the biggest fish in the creek before you can bait your hook, Billy. Alan, you know it's not how fast you are. It's how you cast your line. Wow! I caught a big one! Nice catch, Billy. Thanks. Wow! That sure is a neat bike, George. Yeah, lots of options. If you want it, it's yours for 50 bucks. Wish I could buy it, but I don't have that much money. Too bad. It's a real steal. I'd do anything to get that bike. Yeah? I bet you wouldn't do anything. Sure I would. For $50? Oh, yeah. I bet you wouldn't jump in the creek in the winter in your underwear. Sure I would. Well, I bet you wouldn't eat mud. Mud? What's mud? I'd eat that. I bet you wouldn't eat that worm. Yuck, nobody'd eat that. Told you you wouldn't do anything. For $50? I'd even eat 15 worms. Sounds like a bet to me. Yeah, 15 worms for $50. You don't mean a real bet. You're not chicken, are you? Who's chicken? But only one a day. And he can eat them any way he wants. Boiled, fried, or fricasseed. With mustard, ketchup, even chocolate syrup. Okay, but we gotta be there when you eat them to make sure you don't cheat. It's a bet, $50. Come on, I know a great place to dig for worms. It'll be a cinch, right? Three, four, I've had fried liver, tongue and pigs be. Seven, eight, how bad could a worm be? Ten, eleven, twelve, Stop blabbing and keep pushing. You gotta work up an appetite. 15, 16, 17. They're here. Lunch is served. A chair for the monsieur? Come on, quit clowning. Ladies and gentlemen, I present my masterpiece, Verme à la mud. Ah! What is this? You do not like the cuisine? A nightcrawler isn't a worm. If it was, they'd call it one. Nightcrawler, noun. Earthworm, especially a large earthworm found on the soil surface at night. I don't care what the dictionary says. I'm not eating that thing. You said we can choose the worm. Yeah, and if you're not gonna eat that one, I win. Cough up the 50 bucks. You can't quit now. Just smother it with ketchup. Maybe I could eat that one, but 15? Come on, Billy, you can do it. Waiter, Monsieur is ready to dine. Aw, oh, come on, Billy. You're not really gonna eat that thing, are you? It looks good enough to eat. How was it? What? Let's get out of 
out of here! He's gone crackers! Very good! Billy? <laughs> you sure fooled him. Yeah, one down, but ugh, 14 to go. Boy, do we have a problem. He really likes worms. Don't worry. I'll figure something out. My specialty, southern fried worm. Mm. Tastes just like chicken. My Aunt Tilly had a dog who had worms. Really? What happened? Curled up and died on the spot. Oh! That's tapeworms, not earthworms. There's a lot you don't know about worms. And I'm not gonna tell you. You gotta tell them, Joe. Ain't it a matter of life and death? You can die, Billy Forrester. Die? What do you mean? Eat the last bite, Billy. Worms can't kill you. I won't tell. Wait, wait, you gotta tell. One thing's for sure, it's worse than poison, probably. Poison? Chew, Billy, they're bluffing. No fair helping him. Mm -hmm. ah! Open, Open up. up. See any, Joe? Nah, he swallowed it. It didn't work. My dad will kill me if I lose $50. Relax. He's cracking. Just leave it to me. Shh! You wake him! Ah! <laughs> ah! He's having a nightmare, Joe. Great! I'm gonna make it even scarier. Looks almost as good as mom's home cooking, huh, kids? Ow! Yuck! Worms! No! No worms! Anything but worms! Billy, do something, please! So far, three boiled, two fried, mustard, ketchup, and horseradish. Oh. Uh, it's probably the mustard, ketchup, and horseradish. John, the worms could be poisonous. I want you to call Dr. McGrath. If worms were poisonous, which they aren't, he'd already be green. Billy, drink some warm water and go back to sleep. Yes, Dad. John Forrester, get up. You're sure, Dr. McGrath, and no long-range effects. 
<laughs> a bet, I think. Billy, they're no worse than the live crayfish I ate when I was your age. <laughs> now go back to sleep. Yes, Dad. You know something, Tom? Chocolate-covered worms are better than candy. Any more brilliant ideas, genius? Sure is a fine night for a cookout. Try some, partner? <laughs> he slipped out. He's bonkers, and I'm gonna lose fifty dollars. We still got seven to go. We haven't lost yet. Let's sit over there. Nah, I'd rather sit with the guys. <laughs> He's cute. Please pass the ketchup. Say, Forrester, what's for lunch? Oh, I didn't know you ate worm burgers. Oh, a worm! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Well, what's the matter? Lost your appetite? This isn't fair. I don't have to eat it now. I wouldn't. I wouldn't either. Not even for a cherry red dirt bike. I'm gonna win. I knew he would make it to 15. You wouldn't. You sure you want to do this? I'm not gonna chicken out. It's like Patrick Henry said, give me liberty or give me worms. Yeah. You're disgusting! Wormy oh. 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 yeah. He ate it. I can't believe it. Yeah. Uh, well, listen, Billy, I gotta go. Uh, I gotta study. See ya. better work. He's already eaten 11. Trust me, this plan can't fail. Billy can't come out until he's finished his breakfast. Oh, we came to see you, Mrs. Forrester. To ask you a big favor. Why, sure, boys. Come in. Oh, hi, Billy. How you doing? Eat your breakfast, Billy. Speaking of eating, that brings us to the favor, Mrs. Forrester. We're going fishing today and, well, you probably heard about Billy's bet. You're not still eating worms. Eleven so far. Not just worms, I've been eating other stuff too. What can I do for you boys? We're going fishing with my dad. And you see, someone has to be a witness. You want me to make sure Billy eats a worm? It's just this little one. Oh, how awful. I don't know about this. But, Mom, the bet. Eat your breakfast, Billy. Now, you boys run along. I'm going to have a talk with Billy. Thanks, Thanks Mrs. Forrester. <laughs> Bye. You're not going to eat this thing. <laughs> Without some proper cooking. Mm. Come on, Emily, have some. It's terrific. I won't. You can't make me eat that. Come in. Oh, hello, boys. Won't you join us for some uh, dessert? Sure. So, Billy, how is your worm? Oh, we wouldn't let him eat that for dinner. Gee, that's too bad. Mmm, this is great. What is this stuff? It's, um, 
crème de chocolat mousse avec love. What's that mean? <laughs> It means cream-filled chocolate worm pudding. Worm pudding? <laughs> We didn't say he couldn't have it for dessert. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Billy! What do you guys want? You should be glad to see us. We came to tell you we give up. Yeah, you only got two worms to go. We know when we're licked. We figured we'd take you to the carnival to celebrate your victory. What about the 14th worm? We'll have plenty of time for worms afterwards. I don't know. My mom... My mom told her you'd be home early. It's the last night before the carnival leaves town. Go on, get your bike. We'll stuff him with candy and sodas. Take him on the roller coaster and the scrambler. He'll be so sleepy he'll forget about the worms. And when he gets up in the morning, he's missed the 14th worm. are home late. Late? Isn't there something I'm supposed to do? Yes. Go to sleep. No. <sighs> It's something else. I bet you'll remember in the morning. Bet? Bet? Bet! That's it! Mom, I haven't eaten my worm today. What time is it? Fifteen minutes to twelve. Oh, no! <sighs> Billy Forrester, your jacket! <sighs> Billy, you know how late it is? Yeah, it's almost 12. Ellen and Joe tricked me. You gotta help me. I've got five minutes to find a worm or I lose. The things I do for a friend. Dig fast! We've only got three minutes. Look, I found one. Get him, Billy. That was close. There's no time to cook it. You'll have to eat it raw. I've lost. We don't have a witness. We'll never get to Joe's or Allen's in time. Wait, I know how to get a witness and get even with those cheaters. My brother's toy siren will do the trick. Tom, there's only one minute. So you may witness the eating of the 14th worm. This is it, Billy. Big number 15. Hurry up and eat it already. Where'd you get this one? It tastes kind of like... Like worms. Eat it. I can't stand it anymore. Ta-da! You did it! I'll have to work every Saturday for the next six months. Come on, Alan. Let's go. We lost fair and square. I did it! I won $50! That worm tasted different. It tasted like... beans! It was fake! I tasted it! 
Wait up, Billy! You made that worm out of beans! What are you talking about? Tomorrow you'd say I lost because that last one was fake. We didn't make any worm. You must have had beans for lunch. I don't believe you. You're gonna watch me eat another one just to make sure. Go on, eat four. I don't care. No way! You're not gonna win! Cut it out, Ellen! Forget it, Billy! No more worms for you! Let me go! Let me out! It's cheating! Help! He'll never find a worm in there. Alan, I still hear him! Then I'll shut him up! Oh! You crummy cheater! What's going on in here? He hit me! Dad, he was cheating! Alan, scoot. Go home. Billy, up to your room. But Dad, I just gotta eat the last worm or I'll lose! You know what I told you about fighting. Now go! You boys go home before I call your fathers. But... As for you, young man... Just a few more bites. All those worms! I almost died for nothing. Tom! I'm coming to the rescue, Billy. He's got a worm. Not for long. Oof. Hey, let go! Rotten cheats. Get that worm! Got it! Look out, Emily! at the store. Two more weekends and he's paid off the $50. What do you got for lunch? Fried worm and egg on rye. Why can't you bring something I like so we can trade? I don't know, Tom. I just can't stop. I don't dare tell my mother. I even like the taste now. Think I'm the first person to ever be hooked on worms? Well, it took a lot of guts and an iron stomach, but Billy won his bet. And if you liked How to Eat Fried Worms, the Library of Congress thinks you'd enjoy these other books, too. Soup and Me by Robert Newton Peck and Aldo Ice Cream by Johanna Hurwitz. Your local library and bookstore will help you read more about it. And be sure to join us next time for another CBS Story Break.